we're happiness. This is Side Stage TV. If you were organising your own music festival and each of you had one day, which three bands would each of you choose? Are they are they bands now or in the past? Or? Dead or alive? Okay, okay, it's a music festival cool. very specifically set in 1911. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, right, uh, I think Morn is their cool. Glans is their cool. Is their cool. Warren Drugs is I might be Hair Reboot, Moon Project, Club Gaga, and Angela Lansbury. Angela Lansbury, I think, would probably have one. I would probably pick Wilco, because they're just an absurdly good live band. See, I don't know, I don't know if Club Gaga is still, I don't really know anything about them, but they're good. So then, like Dame Vera Lynn, because there's just, you know, there's a lot of uh, emotion wrapped up in them. She's an impressive She's lady. She's an impressive lady. I'm very glad I'm not being asked. <laughs> what was the last thing you dreamed about? Everyone has to answer. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, the last thing I dreamt about was that the guy that was shooting our music video flat was burgled the night before we were shooting our music video and so he couldn't come and we didn't have anyone to shoot our music video and I woke up and I thought we didn't have anyone to shoot our music video. It's just, it was an anxiety dream. Mine kind of merged into two dreams. The tail end of it was a kind of sci-fi thriller thing. The first one involved Johnny being given a blowjob. Uh, like someone. It happened uh, sometimes. sometimes. And, and it just kind of came out of the blowjob into this really dystopic world that was actually quite <laughs> frightening. I was talking about it in the van today. My one was about a guy. He became impotent but discovered, but remembered that he donated sperm in his youth and had to go back to the sperm bank that he donated the sperm and uh, try and get it, but just as he got back, uh, a couple was leaving as he walked in and, and he goes to the desk and they're like, oh, that was them, they just got your last oh sperm. My God. And so he, had to, he basically goes on like a kind of chase around the country trying to get his sperm back. But I can't Before they use it. Well, I can't remember, it just got pretty vague. But it's really good. It was pretty cinematic. Who's the most precious about their instrument? Yeah, I think it probably is me. He's a warrior. I am a bit of a I sometimes ha I have have kind of anxiety dreams about our stuff getting touch wood hasn't happened, but our stuff getting like stolen from bands and shit. Pick a colour and a word to describe your music. It feels like therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Orange and lactose intolerant with a hyphen. Pink flamingo shrimp. Again with a hyphen between flamingo, flamingo and shrimp. Flamingo shrimp. Pink flamingo shrimp. Beige, easy listening. With a hyphen. Ask something embarrassing to another band member. Whose spaghetti bolognese do you prefer, mine or my mum's? Don't appease me. I think it's probably your mum's. Right? Right, for your band, what's the definition of making it? It's the era of headlines over. Headliners. Headliners. Thanks. I think if you're invited back by a festival 50 years after you started and you uh, you have the balls to dress as Pilates mums, then you've probably made it. But I don't know if the era of headliners is over. I met a guy the other day who thought we'd already made it, which was really fun. We met someone literally when we just started, like the first couple of weeks, and we played this venue in quite a remote place. And we turned up and they were all like, oh, you're, you're very famous, you're very famous. Yeah, that was like, really, oh, that cool, was yeah, we're famous, yeah, we're very famous. We showed up, yeah, we showed up, and just <laughs> everybody thought we were the biggest band ever. Yeah. Like, we came off stage and we, like, we probably played four shows before that, and we came off stage and a crowd of people kind of said, oh, do you want anything? 
and like, how was it? I mean, obviously you're a really big band and you normally play bigger places, but and we were, like, we were no. kind of like, yeah, yes, yeah, we're a very <laughs> famous. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can we can we get quick inside now? Right. Ready. Shake it up. That was long enough. Hey. <laughs> Very good. It's nice to be here with Side Stage Collective. Kissing and holding hands. <laughs> <laughs>